You're here with your host, Hana Matoena Schmidt, and we are in the beautiful island of Samoa in Siumu, where the King Charles III and Queen Camilla's royal visit and other ceremony will take place. I'd like to welcome to the show Leafionga Atanofili. Him, amongst many others in and from the village, have been working hard to prepare for this historical event. How are you this morning, Atanor? I'm very well, thank you, Hannah. I appreciate the opportunity to, uh, to share with you the light of this morning. And it's uh, very uh, fortunate for us to have the opportunity as well. And thank you for the introductions. Thank you. How did you feel when, you, when they finalized that Siumu will be hosting an other ceremony for the king? It's an overwhelming relief of uh, finally we get the opportunity to showcase our cultures and our identity as a Siumu, uh, bloodline of Siumu and Samoa, uh, to show the world that, uh, what we are and who we are as people, uh, of the uh, tendency of uh, working in our own environment and promote our own self-esteem to the world, that uh, we are Samoa and this is who we are. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we can do to provide uh, the world with the opportunity to know us as people and uh, core values and our cultures and our traditions. Mm. How did this decision come to be? What, what, what did that process look like? It's, uh, first is the responsibility that uh, we have as a Matai. Uh, we being uh, blessed and pestle the title of a Matai in front of our district and the religion uh, that we have as the Christianity. So we have to make sure that we take the responsibility seriously and uh, take it to the core values that we hold responsibility to showcase the world and also to live for the next generations of Samoa. Mm -mm. And um, for those who aren't aware, what is the Matai title? The Matai title is to Aingai Tumua. Uh, I think this is the uh, Tofaiono, Tif Tofaiono's title. It's given to the king. Um, it was established during the uh, war for the for kingship of Samoa to fight far, of trying to gather together um, the fight among themselves to establish a uh, mutual understanding uh, to get the king in uh, one of their uh, siblings. And Tofai was very instrumental in getting that through the whole process and finalized in mutual understanding and agreement. Mm. Could you tell us more about the, the Matai title itself that's being gifted to the king? Yeah, the Matai title, it's more of an honorary title. It's not a service title in our community. Uh, one of those things called in Samoa, Ole Aloa Ia, Ele Tautua Iton Wole Tumalo Osetulanga Fa Aloa Ia. It's an honorary title. It's not an entitlement for service in Samoa. Um, can this be? Can the king pass this title on to other people? No, uh, he cannot. It can only be in Samoa if he's uh, done with the title, uh, mm. and that's it. The title cannot be extended out to mm. anybody. Okay. Uh, there's uh, a lot of process and the channels that we have to go through uh, because of protocol, not only for the king, but the government of Samoa, as we have to go through the right channels to advocate and voice our. Uh, responsibility to the government and uh, what we ask for in the right way and uh, it didn't really work well the way we expected as everything is not 100 percent but uh, we try every way that we can possibly get, get through to uh, voice our responsibility to the people of our own uh, Siumu and what we know as what we are so it's not an easy task uh, it's diplomatic level, it's different. Uh, we have to go through a lot of challenges uh, through the government and also the diplomatic level with the government of uh, UK. Mm. So why is this important for Siu? It's important because of the relationship that we have and also the respect that we have in our culture 
and I was given as a token of uh, the visit of the king. This is the first ever visit of uh, this kind of uh, magnitude and level in Samoa. Mm. So it's important for us to establish ourselves to the level um, that we know that the world will respect us as well. Mm -hmm. You know, there are many people who feel that uh, King Charles III is undeserving of a Matai title um, because of their British history and the unjust treatment of Samoan people. What are your thoughts about this? I think uh, as a Matai point of view, as, as a Samoa and also a religious person, uh, we have to leave the past. Uh, we can only uh, move forward when we leave the past. We cannot dwell in the past, but we have to come up and look at opportunity from those adversity that we can strive and move forward in a mutual agreement and understanding to move our world in one piece. Mm -hmm. And um, there are many people who feel that he doesn't really do much for Samoa or even Si Umu. Um, so that honorary title shouldn't even be given to him. What are your thoughts on that? It's always a good start for first steps in any relationship. Uh, we cannot get a second step if we can't get the first step done in the right way. Uh, if this is a new beginning, farewell, I think that would be a good one. But uh, that's the way I perspective that I'm taking from this. Mm. Uh, and I don't really dwell in the past, like I said, that uh, we have to move forward with everything so we can have some sort of uh, mutual understanding to move and some mm. opportunity for us to get some real good benefit out of this. That's awesome. And the King will be arriving in a few hours. Um, how are you feeling? Uh, the excitement level is overwhelming and the peoples are really joining in and share the same feelings. It's a mix of nervous and excitement as well at the same time. We finally get to where we've been negotiating with the government and also the uh, British government to get an opportunity. Uh, there's a lot of different feelings and perspective over it, but uh, we stand true with our core values and ask for the opportunity to showcase who we are and what we are as people. Amazing. And any last words for our Samoans abroad who are watching? Mm -hmm. uh, I just have to advise to keep an open mind and over, open perspective on everything. And uh, I just want to say thank you for all their support and also their opinion. It's all to, to learn from different, different ways, uh, good opinions and some of the criticism too. It really helps us strive and move forward. I'd like to thank you for all the Siumu overseas for their support. I truly appreciate and understanding that we are here trying to serve for everybody and help everybody to move forward in the future. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.